So today I'm talking about a Honda Accord with the P1456 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P1456 code? Well, it's an EVAP emission control system, leak detected fuel tank system. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer is seeing a problem inside of the system. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad gas cap or inlet. There could be an EVAP leak, could be in the wiring, could be a vent valve. Some Honda's called a shut valve. Could be the charcoal canister, could be the purge valve, and possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor. And so the basics of what's going on inside of the EVAP system is that the gas vapor is gonna leave the gas tank. They're gonna go over to what's called the charcoal canister. And this is basically storage for the gas vapors. There's also a vent valve located on the charcoal canister that basically vents to the outside air. Sometimes Honda will call this a shut valve or CVS valve, but basically it's a valve that just vents to the outside. And then a hose is gonna leave the charcoal canister is going to go up to the top of the engine at the top of the engine is what's called a purge valve and basically the purge valve opens when the engine's running so all the gas vapor is going to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape and there's also a fuel tank pressure sensor located somewhere inside of the system for hondas it's usually located on the charcoal canister and the fuel tank pressure sensor is what reports back to the onboard computer what's going on inside of the system and the whole system needs a seal for it to work properly and this includes the gas cap and so for this reason, the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap. Go and check it out. Be sure it doesn't look like it's cracked, damaged, anything like that. But be sure that seal inside of there is good because it needs a seal good for the whole EVAP system to go into a vacuum. And this also includes the newer Hondas with no gas cap. Basically check out that inlet. That inlet needs a seal. And if it doesn't, then the system won't be able to go into a slight vacuum like it needs to to work. And so if you check out that gas cap and it looks good, then basically there's likely a leak somewhere inside the system. One of these hoses is leaking or one of these components has gone bad like the vent valve is stuck open or something like that so if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine they'd feed smoke into the evap system and then wherever the smoke came out they would know where the leaks at and they'd be able to fix it there's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. You could also make one of these up. There's some YouTube videos on how you can make these up for like five, ten dollars But the next thing to do is to go around and look for a leak or test these components to see if there's any leak. And a vent valve is a very common failure on this. It's going to be located on the charcoal canister, which is located up and underneath the vehicle, up by the gas tank somewhere. And there's some different ways you go about testing the vent valve. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often there's an option inside of there that'll let you enable and then disable the vent valve and you can hear it click and things like this. It's just a valve that opens and shuts. But if you can't find any leaks in any of the hoses, then the next thing to go and do is to test that vent valve. Be sure it's working properly and be sure that charcoal canister doesn't have no leaks. Up at the top of the engine is going to be a purge valve. And the purge valve will usually give you another code if it goes bad. But if it does have any leaks around any of these hoses, then it's going to cause problems. So if you go up and locate the purge valve, which will be located up inside the engine compartment somewhere, and just be sure the hoses going to it are not leaking. You can also test the purge valve if you want to, to be sure that it's working. But usually you'll get another air code if it has gone bad. And so if you've gone through everything and there's no leaks inside the system, that vent valve is working correctly, there's no issues there, then it is possible that the fuel tank pressure sensor has gone bad. And when that fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad, basically there's no problem inside the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since it's getting bad information and so that would be the next thing to go and check keep in mind that any bad wiring going to the fuel tank pressure sensor is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so if you don't find no problems in the system then the next thing to go and do is, is going to be to check out this fuel tank pressure sensor and be sure that it's working in the honda accord the fuel tank pressure sensor is usually located inside the charcoal canister although some years did put them on the fuel pump quite commonly the honda accord they have them located on the charcoal canister but the next thing to go and check out is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a honda accord with the p1456 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day